Hello friends welcome to this episode of science for common man and today's question is billions of years ago whether mars was a planet like earth with rivers and oceans and if so what happened to those water bodies and here we go the details of mars that we have now clearly show that it is a dry planet with occasional sandstorms without any trace of water but the photographs show more interesting things the river beds and sea beds through which water was flowing once maybe billions of years ago and as of now we have strong evidences to believe that mars was once home to rivers and oceans then what happened to these water bodies whether our mother earth will also have the same fate and will our rivers and oceans disappear like those of mars let us try to get the answer well the mars is far away from sun compared to earth and this means mars would receive less heat from sun and temperature on the surface of the mars would be lesser than that of the earth and the average temperature on mars is minus 40 degree centigrade compared to 14 degree plus on earth it's sure that at this temperature water would be in frozen state and cannot flow but it happened in mars and the strongest possibility is that mars should have had a warm thick and wet atmosphere once upon a time and today we have many evidences to believe that mars had such an atmosphere 4.3 billion of years ago but by simply having an atmosphere how flowing water can exist at the temperature which is below the freezing point of water it is believed that the thick atmosphere of mars trapped the heat it received from the sun without allowing to escape by greenhouse effect yes it's the same greenhouse effect which makes our earth also warmer let's understand it further the sun's energy is absorbed by the land and oceans heating the earth when the temperature of earth increases by this heating heat radiates from earth space or earth starts losing heat some of this heat escaping from earth is trapped by greenhouse gases such as water vapor carbon dioxide methane nitrous oxides etc present in the atmosphere these heat trapping gases can be thought of as a blanket wrapped around the planet keeping it warm for more detailed explanation on this effect please watch our video on this and the link is given in the description and back to this by the greenhouse effect the temperature of mars would have become higher than the freezing point of water which would have allowed the existence of flowing water in mars but today the mars has a very very thin atmosphere with a density or thickness of only 1% of that of earth so what happened to that thick atmosphere of mars and the villain here is the scary solar wind the upper atmosphere of the sun called corona is like a fireball which releases stream of charged particles to the space this stream consisting of electrons protons and alpha particles released by the sun is called solar wind in earth we call movement of air molecules as wind the solar wind is in fact movement of these charged particles through the space the solar wind blasts out from the sun at a speed of around 1 million miles per hour into the space and the rich atmosphere of mars was stripped away and eroded by the solar wind in the early days of solar system causing the planet to dry out even today mars on an average loses about 100 grams of atmosphere to space every second and when its atmosphere became thinner the water available in mars evaporated and escaped to space gradually as a result mars became a dry planet as we see today and now i know the question in your mind is why it did not happen to earth and the reason is the presence of strong magnetic field of earth the strong magnetic field of earth which extends to space much beyond the atmosphere deflects the solar wind or the charged particles and thus protects the earth like a blanket and the earth would remain as a planet with thick warm and wet atmosphere as long as this magnetic field is there and the reason for earth's magnetic field is the movement of molten iron and nickel in the core of earth created by the motion of earth and we are assured that earth's magnetic field would continue to exist as long as earth keeps rotating and we will have our life sustaining atmosphere as long as we have day night and seasons 
Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe and support us and click the bell button for receiving notifications about the future videos. Signing off, Science for Common Man. Mm -hmm.